See, I recognized early on in life that life ain't just about the decisions that we make. You know what I'm saying? If you... People gonna hurt. Like, if I didn't hit the reset button in life, who knows where Brian would be right now? Who knows where the team would be? Like, there's something inside you. And so this is why we do what we do. Because I don't know, like, all y'all probably feeling the presentation, but how many of y'all are really gonna apply what we gave you? It could be 10%, it could be 40%, I don't know. But what took place today could shift your life forever because you got a brain. So when you find yourself down and out, you go think about, man, if Jill was in her car, homeless and pregnant, and she got through it, that girl done sang in Africa and been to Ecuador and all over the globe. If she could do it, you know now you could do it. If some of y'all, you got some homeboys you connected with, but you know they ain't really living how you supposed to be living and they leading you down the wrong way, you know from Brian's story, yo, if I remove myself from it, if I plug in with positive people, I can make it. Listen, I want for you what we experiencing. One of my homeboys was like, Jay, you got to take it easy. You want everybody to experience a great life like you. I'm like, bro, why not? I'm trying to win. I want you to win. I don't went through too much pain. When Tony was sharing what she was sharing, Jill, both of them got dealt with people taking advantage of them when they was little. Listen to me, man. I know you suffering. I know you hurting on the inside. You wondering why. Like, why this gotta happen to me? Why I got experiences? Why this person had to take advantage of me? I promise you, you are turning into a warrior. Because the stuff that you're going through, the stuff that you have to experience, what don't kill you makes you stronger. If you look at the cat that goes to the gym and he lifting weights and he pumping iron, if you ask homeboy, hey bro, how you get so big, they gonna tell you, it took a whole lot of time and I had to go through a whole lot of pain. And life is gonna grow you. Listen to me right now, life going to grow you. It is not going to be easy. It is going to be painful. It is going to be frustrating. You're going to shed some tears. you probably going to spill some blood. It's going to hurt, but you got to keep pushing. You know when there's nothing left to do but to fight? With everything you've got to get back up. There's a word for it. Resilience. And that word comes down to such a simple test. Not much involved, but in the moments that matter most, it's everything. You and a mirror looking into your own eyes and realizing there's nowhere else to go but up and being ready for what that takes. It's a single decision. The same decision you'll need to make every day. Get up. It's what gets someone to write letter after letter after letter, looking for a job because they know all they need is a start. It's what causes someone to keep moving straight forward even when the start of their journey should have knocked them off track. Resilience and grit. These aren't pretty words. They mean something much more to those who know them well. These words have scars. They symbolize the battle. But they are also the gateway to something so special. It's what it means to lose eight elections, be in bed for six months after a nervous breakdown, then to get up and do what it takes to enter the books of history. It's the power behind getting rejected 12 times before smashing almost every record and every ceiling imaginable. Resilience. That's the word left when the storms keep coming. When things go from bad to worse, every reason to stop trying. The moment we all get humbled by at some point. Sometimes more than once. There are times for dreams. And sometimes there is only time for the reality of now. Picking up one foot, then the other. Starting to move forward step by step. Tears and frustration, another step. Hurt and sadness, another step. Shaking off what was, you just keep going. It's the light that finally breaks after the darkest of nights. In the moment that matters, you and Amir, same decision every day. 
knowing it's going to be long, knowing there is no other way. That is resilience. Never let yourself be the victim. If I could go back in time and have a conversation with my eight to 10 year old self, that would be the message I would give. Because when you think about it, you're a kid, things don't go your way, what do you do? You cry, you whine, you throw a fit, you want your parents to feel sorry for you. You feel sorry for yourself. It's how, how you deal with things at that age. And then you grow up, but you don't necessarily shed that habit, that mentality. And it becomes obvious, right? I mean, you, you can talk to someone for 30 seconds and you know right away if they have that victim mentality, the world's falling down, they're tired, they have so much to do, they're so busy, X, Y, and Z. Look, having that mindset does two things for you. One, it makes you come across helpless and weak, and no one wants to come across that way. Two, it does not get you to where you're going. It does not change the situation, right? Here's the reality. There is always a way to get what you want. There is always a way to position yourself to move away from what you don't want. You can quite literally become what you want to become, but you cannot look at life like it's this problem, like it's against you. The ball is in your court. You know, it wasn't that long ago, two, three years ago, that I was not the happiest guy in the world, right? Did not like what I was doing, did not like how I was spending my time, was not energized, was not passionate about very much. But the time came where I didn't want to live like that. I had a conversation with myself. I stopped being the victim. I stopped complaining and I asked myself, dude, what do you want? What is your purpose? What is your goal? Who do you want to become? And I literally made the decision and walked away a different person. And the things around me changed, my life changed because I made a decision to never be the victim again, to get what I want. I became the author of my own story. And you realize just how simple it is to transform your situation. Not easy, right? And it takes time. But there's always a way to get from point A to point B. And this separates the world into two kinds of people. People who look at how things are, who accept reality as truth, who complain, and people who look at what can be, who make the most of any situation. Look at life as if it's clay, to be molded, to be shaped. It seems funny to me, knowing what I do now, that I went through any of my life like a hamster on a wheel. That I talked to people every day who didn't energize me, that I didn't want to be around, that I did things I wasn't passionate about. That is insanity. Because if you don't like something, but you do nothing to change it, what's left for you to do? Complain, whine, stay where you are, that's it. See, one of the reasons I reference athletics so much is because they bring this mentality on you that when things become difficult, when things become challenging, your job, your one job is to find a way to figure it out. And I always did. And I took that and I brought it to everything else I do. And now it's eye-opening to see people achieving success, financial freedom, these things everyone wants and know that the difference between them and everyone else is that they felt like they deserved it. A lot of the time they weren't smarter, stronger, they weren't more gifted starting out, but they moved toward what they wanted. They didn't cry or groan about the problems, they didn't look for sympathy. Those at the top of the mountain are not victims. They would never let themselves be victims. It's about the other side, the opportunity. Getting from where you are to what you want.